Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy M15 and today I will show you how you can hard reset your phone through recovery mode. Now with that being said, uh, you will need a cable for this and this process allows you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know. I will warn you though before we begin uh, that by doing such a thing in order to remove a screen lock, uh, usually your phone probably already has a Samsung account signed in or Google account. And by doing such a thing, when the reset is finished, you will be forced to verify either the screen lock, which if you don't know, that only leaves you then with the verification method of either the Google account or Samsung. Now, if you have both signed in on the device, it will always pick Samsung account over the Google. But if Google is the only option, that's what it's going to choose as a second method of verification. Now, um, with that being said, uh, if you have no way of verifying it, you're just kind of left with a brick that you can't do anything with uh, and you're just going to be stuck on the setup screen. Typically, I would have been making a video on how we can bypass this, but as far as I know, on the new OSs for the new Android, and Samsung specifically, there is no way to bypass this, uh, at least right now. So I'm just mentioning that in case you don't know your screen lock and the account, at which point you would be just left with a brick. But that being said, right now you probably also have brick if you can't get into it. In any case, uh, to get started, we'll connect the cable. Uh, you want to have it plugged into your computer disregard any pop-ups it doesn't really matter now we can do this uh, either from the lock screen or or with the device being unlocked now if you have a screen like that you don't know the process will vary just a little bit so typically for people that can access their device uh, you can just pull down your notification select the power button and choose power off for the people that don't know the screen lock you can't do that because Samsung needs to be annoying as F so what we will need to do is forcibly reboot the device and we can do so by holding power button and volume down till the screen turns off and when it's plugged in it does show you the uh, right now the battery and how far it's charged if you can see this that's great uh, you don't need to do anything just hold power button and volume down till this disappears and once it disappears you want to switch from volume down to volume up and if you don't see the charging thing for some reason you can just keep it uh, unlocked like this so on a on a lock screen and just interact with the display so it doesn't time out while holding the power button and volume down so in any case let's now wait for this to show up there we go okay so it does light up anyway so okay so it turns off power button volume up now it will show up with Samsung and then Galaxy under that. There we go. At which point you want to let go of the power button. Keep holding volume up till this disappears. For some reason it didn't turn on into the recovery mode. So I'm going to try that again in a second. Okay, let's try it again. Power button and volume down. So it turns off, power button, volume up now. Samsung Galaxy, let go of the power button. The fuck? Oh. Okay, so it now turned on. Uh, hopefully that will be cut out. <laughs> In any case, uh, here uh, we will now use volume buttons to navigate up and down. And with that in mind, you want to select Wipe Data, Factory Reset. Once it's selected, press Power button and select Factory Data Reset. Again, confirm that. It will give you a message at the bottom that it's wiping data, then Data Wipe Complete, at which point Reboot System now should be selected by default. So, Power button once more. Unplug the cable, as it was only needed to get us into the recovery mode. And this will now continue the resetting of the device in the background. Now this will take about a minute to two minutes to finish up, and once it's completed, we'll be presented with Android setup screen. So, with that being said, now I'm gonna let it run through and come back once it's finished for me. Okay. 
And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.